While China may be most well known for its knockoff rides, the country has actually produced a small selection of unique, interesting, or downright strange rides. Today we'll be counting down the top 10 strangest rides to come out of China. Keep in mind that footage of some of these rides is quite hard to come by and may not be of the highest quality. It's also difficult to find the original designer of many of these rides as Chinese companies have a habit of taking another manufacturer's promotional video and simply overlaying their logo on top of it. Accordingly, if I say something incorrect, please politely correct me in the comment section below. Let's get started. The Human Gyroscope Though not originally a Chinese design, Chinese companies are the only ones to have produced these rides in large numbers. Currently, hundreds of smaller Chinese amusement ride companies produce this ride and they range in price from just 500 US dollars to around 3,000 US dollars. These rides are not especially thrilling, but their small size and low price makes them very popular for showmen and wannabe showmen around the world. Interestingly, this is the only Chinese ride I know of to be widely exported around the world, including to the US and many parts of Western Europe. It ranges in capacity from just one seat to six seats, and in most cases has a ride cycle determined by the operator. The operator of the ride can pull on various rings of the gyroscope to create a more intense ride, and the operator can control how long the ride's electric motor is on, and thus how long the ride experience is. Mine Train at Foreigner Street at first glance, this coaster looks like nothing special. It was made by Chinese company Beijing Chenjining Amusement Equipment, and yes, that is their logo. It was built at the now-defunct Foreigner Street, a showman park of sorts where each ride is owned by an individual owner, sort of like how the famous Wiener Prater in Vienna is operated today. The coaster itself may be a fairly uninspired layout with fairly jerky transitions and generic trains. But what earns this coaster a spot on this list is its theming. Have you ever wanted to ride a roller coaster and be stared upon by Jesus Christ himself? Well, now you can. This coaster features a large spinning statue of the man himself. When I first found it on stream in January 2019, this was my reaction. The mountain carrying <laughs> There's a spinning Aaron. Jesus in the middle of this ride. <laughs> As stated before, the ride has since closed, but it's sure to live on in the roller coaster meme community. Inverting Kitty Ride by an unknown Chinese manufacturer. A common demand in China is for a ride that's both thrilling and compact. This ride attempts to answer that demand. This strange unnamed ride is designed for both kids and adults. Like most kids rides in China, adults can ride too without any restrictions. This ride starts by spinning clockwise, then each individual gondola completes a powered movement before eventually completing multiple 360 degree rotations in one direction before switching to the other. The ride has been bought by several Chinese malls and looks to provide a unique, albeit possibly uncomfortable ride experience. Spinning Rocking Rotating Tug by Various Small Chinese Ride Manufacturers The Zamperla Rocking Tug is a near ubiquitous ride here in the West, with over 200 being built since 2002. But while some Chinese companies made direct knockoffs of the rocking tug, others came up with this unique and arguably better design. This design takes two free-spinning gondolas similar to what can be found on a mini teacups ride and attaches them to the side of a normal rocking tug. Riders in these two free-spinning gondolas can control their spinning to create a more intense ride for adults. This allows for both higher capacity and a wider appeal to guests. Promotional material for the ride seems to show both adults and children enjoying the ride simultaneously. Aviation Training Device Made by Chinese Manufacturer Nanfang At first glance, you may think this ride is a knockoff of Italian manufacturer Moser Ride Circus Hoppola, but if you look closer, you can see the ride experience is completely different. Riders on the Aviation Training Device are first placed in a stand-up position that's somewhat similar to that of a Zimperla Valere. However, this ride appears to have a more secure restraint system as well as an adjustable floor that should make it more comfortable as long as you don't have claustrophobia. When the ride starts, the gondolas are raised up away from the ground before they begin spinning 360 degrees controlled by motors in the arm. This leads to an intense and possibly painful ride experience that is no doubt unique. The Top Spin Scan Made by Chinese Manufacturer Lino Rides In the West, the Mondial Top Scan has been a popular ride for years. Eventually, the Top Scan got so popular that in China, companies like Nanfang began creating knockoffs of it. However, Lino Rides decided to put a new spin on the design. Taking influence from the technical park Pegasus 30, this ride has large, top spin-like gondolas mounted to a normal top scan arm. This likely gives a very intense and enjoyable ride that I honestly would not mind seeing coming to the West. The Ferris Ring, made by various unlicensed Chinese amusement ride manufacturers. I say unlicensed as China has a huge unlicensed amusement ride manufacturing problem. 
Unqualified and unregulated manufacturers are creating medium to large scale amusement rides that are in many cases unsafe, but that topic deserves its own video. The Ferris Ring is a favorite among these manufacturers. The ride consists of two or more 10 meter diameter rings that have a free spinning gondola attached to an arm that seats six riders. The other end of the arm has a counterweight to make it easier for the ride to invert. The ride is popular at many smaller Chinese parks and even a few larger ones. Larger parks sometimes custom order these rides in sets of six or more to increase throughput. Although these rides look interesting, I would really not suggest riding one due to the very real safety concerns mentioned earlier. The Golden Horse Super Spinning Coaster The well-known Chinese company Golden Horse is the world's largest spinning coaster manufacturer having made far more spinning coasters than any other company. Building off this success, they built what is quite possibly the best compact spinning coaster model in the world in 2017. The Super Spinning Coaster At the time of the model's introduction, it was one of the only spinning coasters in the world to go upside down. So far, eight clones of this ride have been built across China, and I'm really wondering why no Western park has bought one of these yet. They're inexpensive rides that are sure to draw crowds. Along with this, Golden Horse is a very good track record compared to other Chinese manufacturers when it comes to safety, so I really see no reason why any small to medium sized park anywhere in the world wouldn't want this coaster. The Robot Fighter, made by various Chinese ride manufacturers. Malls in China seem to be the best place to find unique rides as manufacturers design new ways to fit thrilling rides into small spaces. The Robot Fighter is one such design. The ride begins with the load stairs dropping into the floor before the gondola begins to rock back and forth and the whole structure rotates in a way similar to the Move It ride by KMG. Before long, riders are spun head over heels, upside down, over and over on this disorienting ride. This ride is normally themed with lots of colors and lights, making it blend into the already overwhelming and colorful Chinese malls, at least for a Westerner. The Robot Fighter seems to be a newer model, and it remains to be seen just how popular it may become. Flying Saucer Roller Coaster, made by an unknown Chinese ride manufacturer. This ride was not strange enough to make this list, but it was a little too strange to avoid the list. Most people are familiar with spinning coasters, they generally feature the same uninspired track layout with generic trains. The Flying Saucer is very different. For one, its cars only fit two riders instead of the usual four, its track design is also more in line with something you might expect of a larger roller coaster, and most interestingly, this ride has no trim brakes anywhere on the ride course, so it gives insanely intense rides. This coaster sadly closed in 2013, and it's likely we'll never know any more information on it. Travel in the Universe by Chinese company Sino Rides. I must say this is definitely the most unique ride on this list. This ride features one center lifting arm that's connected to three arms that spin 360 degrees vertically. These arms are attached to a ring that rotates horizontally. This ring holds six rider gondolas that are free to rotate on their own axis, much like the gondolas on an Enterprise. All these motions combine to give an intense ride experience that's full of unpredictable and sudden inversions. Interestingly, this ride uses hydraulic motors, compared to western ride manufacturers that have been gradually moving away from these in new flat rides in favor of electric ones due to maintenance concerns. At this time, this ride only comes in a park version, but if a transportable version was ever introduced, I could see it becoming one of the more popular traveling flat rides in and outside of China. I hope this video has helped show you that not all rides made in China are knockoffs, and that Chinese manufacturers have made a few good, unique designs that some of which will hopefully be exported to the West. This is not to say that the Chinese amusement industry is without problems, because it has many, many problems, many more than the Western amusement industry. Those have been the topic of my earlier videos, and they will be the topic of many, many future videos. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.